Today's caper is presented by WQED Pittsburgh and WGBH Boston. Carmen's gang is bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and viewers like you. This program is brought to you by Toyota. All these people want to know, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? The case of the pinched paws. And this is the man in charge of training new recruits. Greg Lee. Hey guys, nice to see you. Thanks a lot. You ready to go to work? Yeah. yeah. All right, Chief, let's get started. All right, gumshoes. Carmen San Diego's pack of vile villains have pulled another one. The scene of the scam, Giza, Egypt. With the body of a lion and the head of a man, the great sphinx has stood guard at the Egyptian pyramids for almost 5,000 years. But now, Robo Crook has defeated the silent sentinel. The sniveling cyborg has purloined the statue's paws. Your mission is to return the precious paws, track down Robo Crook, and then capture Carmen San Diego. Thanks a lot, Chief. All right, Gumshoes, what we're going to do is start you off with 50 Acme crime bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, I'm going to give you 10 more crime bucks. The two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then go on to the next round, okay? Now, before we find out where Robo Crook is headed, though, let's find out a little bit more about you detectives. Uh, Anna, we'll start with you. It says here you have two chinchillas? Yes, I do. I don't even know what a chinchilla looks like. Okay, a chinchilla looks like, it looks like a rabbit, yeah. except its tail is longer and stockier, yeah. and it has shorter ears, but there's no fur on the ears. It's, it's great. And you said you, you, there, there's some tricks that your chinchillas do. Yes, my chinchilla, um, my two chinchillas can jump at least three feet, feet in the air without running. Golly, Olympic chinchillas. Yeah, good. Well, it's nice to have you on the show with us today. Janelle, it says here that your great-grandmother was from India, and a lot of the rest of your family's from Trinidad, right? Mm -hmm. What's it like down there in Trinidad? Well, it's a tropical country, mm -hmm. and they've never se they've never seen snow, so that's amazing. And another thing is that you can leave the door open anytime because there's no big cr crime rate. It's a beautiful country. Wow, that's wonderful! What a great place. Glad you're on the case, Andrew. It says here that you're the Long Island Spelling Bee champ. That's right, Greg. That's tremendous. What word did you win on? Uh, caricaturable. Caricaturable. Gee, I'm not even. I'm not sure what that means, I, but I know somebody who does. Chief. Chief, do you know what caricaturable means? Caricaturable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Isn't that uh, candy? It's got uh, either peanuts or cashews or or nuggets, maybe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No? I'm sorry, that's not it. Do you know how to spell it, though, right? Uh, well, it starts with a C, but I don't want to give it away. Okay. Andrew? Ask Andrew, I'm sure. Andrew, do you know how to spell no. it? Yes, I do. Okay, let's hear it. Caricaturable. C A R I C A T U R A B L E. Ladies and gentlemen, Long Island Spelling Bee Champion. Good. All right, glad you guys are on the case. Chief, let's get started. All right, detectives. After pinching the paws, Robo paddled up to the biggest lake in Africa. Now, it's also the largest source of the Nile River. In our gumshoes, I remember a trip there once. I, I set out and set sail in search of giant Nile perch with one of the Luo people. Now, the Luo people are expert fishermen in this region. And now I'm talking about giant perch, hundreds of pounds. My Luo friend caught one, but, miss, <laughs> but wouldn't you know it, mine, Greg, <laughs> got away. Oh, tough break, chief. Tough break. All right, gumshoes, to what lake did Robo take the Sphinx paws? Was it Lake Tanganyika, Lake Malawi, or Lake Victoria? And the clues that we heard, Nile River, Africa's largest lake, and Luo people. Anna, we'll start with you. What do you say? Greg, I picked Lake Malawi. Lake Malawi. 
Janelle? Greg, I pick Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria. Andrew? Greg, I pick Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria. The answer we're looking for, Lake Victoria. Nice job, Janelle and Andrew. Picks up an extra 10 combo. All right, now let's see what kind of information we can get here on this World Band Radio. This is Steve Oshobe. We're looking at Lagos traffic jam, one of the worst I've ever seen in Western Africa. A shifty looking robot is hauling two huge stone piles down the highway and it's bumper to bumper all the way to the Gulf of Guinea. All right, Gumshoes, name the country. Is it Nigeria, Mali, or Chad? Remember the clues that we heard from the World Band Radio? Lagos, Western Africa, and Gulf of Guinea. Anna, we'll start with you. What do you say? Greg, I pick Nigeria. Nigeria. Janelle? I pick Mali. Mali. Andrew? I pick Nigeria. Nigeria. The answer we're looking for is Nigeria. Nice job, Anna and Andrew. Okay, so that means Anna, you're up to 60 points. Janelle, you have 60. And Andrew, you're in the lead right now with 70. Crime bucks. Nice job. Whoa, what, what is this? I wish people would use the mailbox. I really do. But it looks like we got a citrus gram here, guys. Let's find out what it says. It says, hey, gumshoes, Robo's hiding out in an orange grove. He came ashore in St. Augustine and lined up a hot date with the space shuttle Discovery. All right, gumshoes, name the state. Is it... Florida, California, or Louisiana. Remember the things we got from the citrus. Orange Grove, St. Augustine, and Space Shuttle Discovery. And we'll start with you. What do you say? Greg, I picked Florida. Florida. Janelle. I picked California. California. Andrew. I picked Florida. Florida. The answer we're looking for is Florida. Nice job, Evan Andrew. Okay. So that means, Anna, you have 70. Janelle, you have 60. Andrew, you have 80. Crime bucks. Nice job, Gumshoes. That's exactly the gumshoes. Well, that can only mean one thing. It's time for the lightning round. So, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to uh, give you a chance to get some extra crime bucks. And what this means is, I have three questions here. The first one of you that answers any one of these questions correctly, I'm going to give an extra five crime bucks to. All right? So, hands on your buzzers, if you will, please. Listen very carefully. In the 1960s, a California movie producer began planning a city of the future called Experimental Prototype Community of Tomorrow. Yes, Andrew. Walt Disney. Sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. I'll finish the question. What is that community usually called today? Do you know or Anna? Anna? Disneyland? Disneyland. Judges, can we accept that? No. I'm sorry. The answer we're looking for is Epcot. I'm sorry. Okay, hands on the buzzer. Still question two. The largest lake in Florida is called Okeechobee. Who can spell Okeechobee? Anna. Okay. Okay. O K I E C H O B I E. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, that's not the answer we're looking for. Janelle, Andrew. Okeechobee. O K E C H O B E E. Sorry, it's not the answer we're looking for. The answer was O-K-E-E-C-H-O-B-E-E. -E -E -E. It's hard to say, too. Take it from me. All right, question number three. Listen carefully. Which is the spring training home of the New York Yankees? Is it Port St. Lucie, Fort Lauderdale, or Baseball City? Anna. Fort Lauderdale? Yes, we're looking for Fort Lauderdale. Nice job, Anna. Okay, that takes you up an extra five at the crime box. All right, so let's see. Anna, you have 75. Janelle, you have 60. And Andrew, you have 80. This is a nice way to play this game. Greg! Yeah, Chief. Greg, in my office, now. Okay. Be right back with you. No problem. We always do this little talking in the middle. <laughs> so you guys just stick around. I'll be right back. All right, Greg, I've been doing some reading. Now, yeah. listen to this. Okay. In general, gumshoes are very goal-oriented. Mm -hmm. They perform best if presented with something to strive for, a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Well, maybe, hmm. maybe it would motivate the gumshoes to catch Carmen Sandiego. Well, but, Chief, we don't, we don't have a pot of gold anywhere. We have a pot of coffee. Greg, we have one decaf, Greg, one wreck. It's a figure of speech. Oh. <laughs> now. Sorry. What would be the best thing to motivate the gumshoes? Mm. We got, oh, wait, wait, wait. Look, yeah. here. It says right here. Mm -hmm. A trip anywhere in the lower 48 states would be the best thing to motivate the gumshoes. Well, hey. Oh, that one's great. It's amazing. You get a little book together. You kind of sit down and talk about a problem, work it through. It's amazing. I think it's going to really. Yes, ma'am. Go away. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you just call me anytime you need some help on that. 
Hey, Gumshoes, listen very closely. Remember, we're still looking for Robo Crook. He took the Sphinx paws from Egypt. It's very important that you stay hot on the trail. Can you do it? Yes. Now, can you do it? Yeah. All right. Listen.